This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Occupy Auckland protesters are fighting a ruling, giving them 48 hours to get out of the central city. The court judgment says they're welcome to demonstrate, but their camp in Aotea Square must be packed up. For the latest, let's go to Stephen Smith. Stephen. Wendy, the Occupy Auckland protests, uh, protesters have been camped here for two months now. But two weeks ago, the Auckland Council took them to court to have them evicted from here, claiming they were breaching a number of council bylaws, like erecting tents in a public space without permission, and also damaging public property like the dead grass you see behind me. Now, uh, the protesters said, hang on, it's within the Bill of Rights for us to be here. The judge, though, has ruled in favour of the council. He's given them 48 hours to go. The protesters aren't taking that though, they've already lodged an appeal with the courts and tomorrow afternoon they'll meet again with the judge. They say this 48 hour notice is no sign the, Auckland, uh, the Occupy Auckland movement is going away. We've had incredible support from the public and I think that support is really growing. I think there is massive recognition of the inequalities in our society, of the fact that there is a gross disproportionate amount of people that uh, have been affected by the, the, one, the top 1% of our society. Now today I've also spoken to a number of stall holders at the uh, Aotea Square market. Now a couple of them have said yes uh, we feel intimidated by the protest and the protest has led to a loss of business but on the other hand a couple have said hey the protesters are here to do their thing, we're here to do ours and we don't actually interfere with each other. So there is support for the protesters down here amongst the stall holders and amongst the public but what they're hoping for is uh, a judge, the judge's support tomorrow and uh, giving them the right to appeal this 48 hour eviction notice notice so they can at least stay on for a little while longer. Thanks Stephen. Stephen Smith at Auckland's Altia Square. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.